Goat's milk. Nice. Hi, everybody. You see my room? Are you vlogging? Me I am now? vlogging. <laughs> what, what's going on, everyone? Charlie checking in? Erica checking in. Coming right here with all the way from ah, la, 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 Columbia, South Carolina, here at the Hilton Garden Inn. Yes. Beautiful Saturday morning, guys. We rented ourselves a hotel room. Had to come see a couple friends. We're in the and... middle of downtown Columbia, but our view sucks. Yeah. yeah. Look at that. Woo! Can't really see too much. Look at this, guys. Oh, my goodness. A nice... Oh, my God. Look at the nice roof right there. You see Dusty down over there in the corner. Most of the uh, most of downtown is back over that way. So, the view isn't too great. Don't get room th uh, 314. And, yeah, the pool isn't too great neither, huh? Three no. footer, Something like that. We were going to go swim in. It's only four feet deep yeah. in the deepest part, yeah. so no diving. Yeah, well, anyway, man, we're uh, hanging out today, man. We're going to go take some pictures uh, around town, you know, where Dad once hung out, maybe check out the flea market and stuff. Do a little vlog and take the camera with me while I'm here in Columbia, see what we can't get into. Just happened to see The Office on here on Comedy Central. I feel like I'm home, away from home. He's been watching it all morning. All morning. So uh, 11, uh, 11 o'clock is checkout. we got about 30 minutes, oh, yeah. and uh, we're headed out. So anyway, guys. Thank you all for watching. We love you so very much. All that gang weird science stuff. I'm still being lazy. Yep, and let's see what we get into today. Yeah. What are you doing today, Aaron? Hi. Hi. Okay. Yeah. All right, guys. We are checking out the Hilton Inn. Headed out. It was hot. I like this mirror right here. Yeah. Yeah, man. It's really nice. A lot nicer than a. Uh, the other digs I used to live in, man, run around from state to state, huh? A little bit. A little bit nicer. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, there you go. There Something you go. that I thought was pretty funny, man. Check that out. Look. The Office of Elevators and Amusement Rides. So the guy that uh, runs the G-Force and the, uh, the Intimidator also runs the, uh, the elevators. Yeah. Anyways, we're off like a herd of turtles. Like Take a look at these uh, <laughs> like a paintings right here. Those are quite trippy. And then look, man, this decor right here, guys. If you are on something here, man, you will. Or even if you're not, you think you will. <laughs> you think you are. I don't know. I can't talk. <laughs> Much love to the Hilton Garden. That's hot. That's hot. Hey, Belle. <laughs> what a cool chicken. You gay, Hudson. Look at that big cock. Ew. That's a big mushroom. Oh, yeah. Boulevard of Broken Dreams, guys. This place, guys. We used to buy our clothes all the time from a little thrift store. They're called His House. It's gone now. And we'd always, then Dad would go to Whataburger. Dad would always ride by and say, Whataburger. Really? Yeah. It was right there, man. We were so broke when we first came to Columbia, guys, that we would get vouchers for uh, used clothes and stuff. We would go to the place where I better called his house. I cried last time I got here and I saw that it was gone, dude. I, I wore used underwear, used socks. <laughs> but they were so kind, man. Got our, uh, 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 furnished our houses, man, and our backs. All right, so right anyway, past this light is the Bojangles where we're going to go. Coming in the Triangle City right here, guys. The scratch and spin is over there. Right over there is where Dad and Mom and Michael got in that car accident. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Oh, there's a water tank. Let's see if we can see it. Water tower. West Columbia. You can see the top of it. City of West Columbia. <laughs> right there, guys, used to be a house. Uh, 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 a clutter house, I guess, as it were. When I first moved to Columbia, I bought uh, my couch, my bed, my dresser, everything from a woman that uh, uh, had a store full of junk right there and mannequins that she would set up outside, like flipping burgers, riding bicycles and stuff. I was like, well, let's go see what's there. And I furnished my whole house. Maybe the bed was haunted because I started having dreams. There's Zestos. Oh, we're going to Bojangies, though. Sausage, egg, and cheese oh, on my yeah. belly. Mm-hmm. I want me a Bowberry. Love you, Bowberry. See if there's anyone in there eating. I can film. Nope. Close. <laughs> All right. Just getting ourselves a little quick little breakfast from Bojangles. Sweet tea. I wanted to bust out the camera real quick and show you guys right here in Triangle City. Right there at the quick stop. Can I zoom in on here? How do we zoom in? There we go. The quick stop right there, guys. That was one of my main spots where I would go every single day after work before I would go home and I would get my beer. 
my alcohol, man. And I would always tell myself, that was one of the last stories too. I'd tell myself, you're not stopping, you're not stopping, you're not stopping. And I'd almost always stop at that store right there and get me some booze. Well guys, I'm eight months sober right now, eight months and counting, soon to be a, week, a year. And man, I'm just so happy and thankful, man. Life is really stepping up for me, you know, in a big way and I'm just happy and thankful for it. You know, so. yeah. Here's the sobriety, right there, yeah. And to the quick stop or whatever you are, I won't be going back there. Oh yeah, that was the other store right there. If I wasn't going to one, I was going to the other. The El Cheapo, man. <laughs> no matter how hard, man, I could not freaking escape it, man. Living alone, that's what it did to me, man. You know, I didn't have that, I didn't have that accountability. There's another spot that I want to show you right here real quick. Erica's eating yum yum. At this light right there, you see that, that red light? The car just passed right there. Oh my goodness, guys. That's where I got in my freaking hit and damn run. Worst, one of the worst decisions I've ever made. You can just stay green. Stay across right there. Right beside that Dreer Plaza sign. I said, bim, hit the guy and then kept going down that road right there. Thankfully, it was a college couple. They were young. They didn't get hurt. Everything was fine. But I did end up going to jail twice over it. Losing my job, my house, my second job, everything my whole livelihood over a stupid decision, drinking and driving, you know, it could have hurt somebody else as well. Somebody else could have Probably lost their life. Probably leaving one of those stores. Yep. Oh, no, I wasn't. I was leaving a friend's house, man. Actually, he kind of shut the party down. I got a little drunk and started talking about my other friend passing away, man. Y'all don't want to get into it. But it was a really emotional moment and stuff. And then I had me having to leave the party and drove drunk. Instead of sleeping at the barnyard, which I'm going to show you guys in a minute. First, though, man, check right there. Anybody remember the Golden uh, Dragon right there? Used to be a Chinese restaurant. It was our favorite place to go eat after we left this Walmart. My mom worked at that Walmart in the, in the, <laughs> in the, photo, photo, in the photo lab. And we would always go eat the, at the Chinese restaurant back there. Um, but it's gone now, so we can't go eat there anyway. So, anyways, we're heading out to the barnyard now. That's where I should have chilled, maybe slept it off. But I didn't. I decided to ride home. And, uh, man, like I say, you know, the rest is freaking history. Sad, sad history. But that shit's behind me, man. I'm doing really well now. All right, guys. Y'all what y'all want? Y'all want over? Oh, okay. Traffic has begun a little bit. One of the things that everybody likes to do around here, guys, check out flea markets. Every Saturday, we'd come to the flea market. Dad sold at the flea markets every Saturday. Such a big venture. And, I mean, look. This is the Mexican flea market. They call this the Mexican flea market. I hope that's not too racist. I'm sorry. The Mexican flea market, but oddly enough, it's named the US one. You took me there before. Yeah, this is where all the Hispanics and all the bootleg material uh, is sold. And there's even the inside flea market. It looks like old uh, Monty Python deal. That's not the one we're going to. That's not the one that dad always sold at. Dad never really uh, had much luck up there. You know, there's a lot of people that, you know, I've been selling my peanuts here for 13 years. Get your ass on pie. They told my dad, get on pie. So dad, we're going over here to the barnyard right up here. Let's go to the barnyard. My favorite any damn way. Forgive Jesus. Forgive me, Jesus. Oh yeah, here's our Mecca of outdoor community. Uh, uh, I don't know. Fuck. Here's the barnyard. Shit. I was thinking <laughs> our outdoor, our, our Mecca for outdoor uh, commercialism for, uh, uh, Consumerism, fuck! <laughs> Excuse my language, I'm sorry, Grandma. Anyway, we're here at the barnyard. Fuck, 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 fuck! Uh, silver. Ow. I'm seeing Robocop. exotic birds and puppy signs. You are an exotic bird and puppy. Hey, that's what my daddy said, I look like a bird. <laughs> Shut up, D, you dumb bird! I'll take it, I love D. All right, let's go for a walk here at the... Hey, there's a Ninja Turtle! Turtle, turtles! Go, go, Power Rangers. Every time I hear Ninja Turtles, I sing the Power Ranger song. That's weird. You're strange. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I'm doing it wrong. I am just a worthless lawyer tool. I am just an imbecile. I will only... Blah, 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 blah. Oh, jackpot. No. Check it out. No. Booker T, John Cena. No. I just want a couple. They got any Ninja Turtles in here, man? Look, why not? How much are the uh, wrestling figures? Oh, there they go. Five bucks each. Boom. Oh, look. Oh, my goodness. That is awesome right there. 
I was a huge Stinger fan as a kid. I used to steal my mom's makeup and lipstick and put it on my face and Stinger splash everything in the house until I had smear marks all over the walls and the couch. And damn, check out Kurt Angle. That guy, he's taking a dump. Oh, gnarly Simpsons. Oh, look at Dolph. Whatever, man. Mr. Burns with his money. <laughs> oh, that was Dad's favorite. Mr. Burns got his. Even got the money. <laughs> Lisa. Lisa, where? Oh, until until electronic Lisa. I don't know about that one. Also, one of my favorites here. They don't have any of the originals, but look, there's an Uber. Uber. Oh, it's the most chocolate Uta. So awesome, bro. God, I'll take it all. Just just give it all to me. Okay, I don't see any Ninja Turtles. Oh, Erica's mask. She got some of these last time that we were here. You would mask have been around so damn long they're actually making a, an enterprise with the mask. Okay, so while she's checking out the mask, I'll come back over here and look at my wrestling DVDs again. Last time I was here, I got uh, The Rock. And what else did I get? Uh, Mick Foley. I'm right over here somewhere. I thought it was right here. They've moved it. <laughs> nice shot right there, guys. The barnyard canteen. Can't begin to tell you how many breakfasts and lunches Grandpa <laughs> purchased from this place right here. If that is of any interest to anybody there. I'm also going to try to show you Grandpa's uh, uh, restaurant here later. If we could sneak in. We got buses last time, didn't we? Yes. <laughs> but yeah, Grandpa bought so much pizza from this place right here. Ooh, do you have a quarter? I want to get on. I don't think. Oh, got a dollar. I'm going to get four rides. <laughs> oh, cool. What is that? Holy cow. Yeah, what is that? The Lizard Man Festival. May 21st. No, May 24th. Uh, it's the, the fourth the, annual. It's, okay. the, it's the what annual? It's the Ford? The Ford, the Ford annual. <laughs> <laughs> What'd I say? Ford <laughs> annual Lizard Man's Festival. Y'all come on down now. <laughs> okay, guys, you're getting a first peek at one of Dad's enemies right there. <laughs> this guy is the same guy he's been selling it for a long time. He got the front, the Dad got the back. He got all the good business because he'd been here longer, but he did let Dad have a spot. I'm going to show you back there in a second. Right as soon as I buy some of this old shredded wheat. It's only a couple years old. Still good. Still good. Boo! Okay, we get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh yeah, that's where the magic happens in the alleys of the flea markets right there. Oh really? Uh -huh. Bow tickle drugs. wow wow. Oh yeah, well, that's where me and you're gonna hang out. <laughs> right there, there's a bank of them. <laughs> All right, into the next one. What the f? Like, man, I, don't know. I, don't know. I just throw them back in the corner. Oh, Blu-rays. How many Blu-rays we want to get? Hey, you know Cool jacket, man. Hell yeah. Oh, Elvis! It's my mama's lover. Oh, look, that's my shirt. Remember? Bitchcraft, the art of kissing. Dude! That is totally you, man. Huh? Oh man, that is totally her right there. <laughs> and I've got my things. Halo's homemade soaps. Take a look. They got some Ozzy Osbourne soap. Got the bat in there. Oh my and gosh. And then the skull. Let me tell you a story. I saw this thing on YouTube where this lady, she was <laughs> murdering people and boiling them in the stove and making soap out of them. What? Instead out of like the body fat? Yeah, out of the body fat. Was it good soap? How much did she charge? She was making I pretty want good some. money. What? Holy. Crap, man, that's... <laughs> you watch some crazy crap. What the hell? She made cake out of them, too. She would, like, take their bones and stuff and yeah, grind them up into going. powder <laughs> and make cakes. She would sell cakes and soap. Oh, man. All right, guys. Mr. Matt done put our mouths on fire here. <laughs> Just find ourselves something a little hot. Miss Step Hot Sauce. You want to give yourself a shout-out, man? Yeah, We're with uh, the Outsiders on YouTube. 
We're gonna buy ourselves. So I just threw you, I just threw you on the spot like that. I just grabbed you. I was like, hey man, I'm gonna vlog, man. <laughs> Got ourselves a three pack right here. What is this? A verde, you say? Verde, uh, berry blend with ghost pepper and ghost pepper mash with bourbon, smoked paprika, garlic. Yeah. And he just he was nice enough to invite us to all three flavors. Woo, my my taste buds are on fire a little bit now after the Verde or misstep. I'm having this uh, word mispronunciation now. He's not here selling hot sauce. He makes the hot sauce. He's an actual chef. He's a chemist. He's a crazy chemist here. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and get ourselves some hot sauce tonight. And we're going to go ahead and put that on our, our wings for tomorrow for the Super Bowl. Okay. So anyway, thank you so much, man. Misstep. Misstephotsauce.com. Also follow me on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and whatever. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> we'll get all we'll get all the links and we'll add it to the video and stuff like that. And we'll help you out, man. Good product, man. Thank you so very much, sir. Our transaction has been completed. Thank you. <laughs> oh yes, guys. Before GameStop, there was this place right here. Yes, before GameStop, guys, we would come out here every single Saturday and I'd get a game. I remember this game with all my heart. Bases loaded baseball, dude. Oh my goodness, that is a classic. Top Gun, I remember, man, second grade, my dad bought me Top Gun and I hated the game so much. All you were doing was just riding through blue water, man. Are there any, any 64 games here? Is WrestleMania 2000 here? Oh, WrestleMania 2000. <laughs> nice collection, man, definitely. Oh yeah, so this is, Josh got married? Oh man, that's oh, so really? awesome. Tell Josh to say hello. Oh, this wow. has been Josh's store since like 94 or so. I mean, yeah. a very, very long time, right? His mom just sells right over there, too, right? Saw her last time yeah, there. Josh was a staple. We love you, Josh, man. <laughs> oh, look, Shaq Fu. <laughs> oh, oh, Bigfoot sighting. Hey, look, it's it's the Boo Jim Hoot and Annie. Oh, and baby, hold on. There's the Boojum, the Hoot Nanny, and the damn baby Sasquatch. Hey, little guy. And something's grabbing her butt, she said. Yeah, it was the whole chair. Uh, kind of reminds me of the chair that Baby Buster sits in. Hmm. I'm a monster! Hey, how you doing? <laughs> oh, my God. Puppies! Do not get me freaking started. I want a puppy so bad. We had gotten a puppy here, man, a miniature chihuahua from this place right here. His name was Pie, and we loved Pie for at least like four years until he died. He got he got eaten by another dog. Oh, I want a doggy go. Just so sorry, we do not have a petting zoo. It's like a museum right here, behind glass. Oh, I would love to pet that one so much. Oh my God. Oh, there's a little, this one looks like pie. it might be a little terrier. That's what I want, a terrier. I'd like to see his Want me a terrier or a feist, something mm -hmm. like that. If you come right here on this side, you can see him. He's white with brown ears. Yeah. And a brown yeah. tail. Aww. I like his markings. I wonder this what kind one. he is. Oh, my God. It's so sad. I don't know how much they are. Oh, look. Chicken nuggets live and in action. Oh, I love Dude. them. I don't know if I want to eat any boneless chicken wings now tomorrow at the Super Bowl. Look. Look at these things, man. Oh, you guys are so awesome. <laughs> They're all huddled in the back. They like they know something's coming. Something's going to happen to them if they leave that cage. So they're trying to be the last one in. Oh, snap. I am dead with cuddliness. Hey, babies. Oh, look. All face to face. Aww. That is the cutest thruple I've ever seen in my life. Oh, God. Oh, don't turn around. You're about to get it. He's like, mm. Mm. he's a funny bunny. Oh, let's get your old cakes here. Dollar a piece. Okay, guys. So here we are. <laughs> the back row of the flea market. This is pretty much where my dad lived. Right there where they're selling them fruits. I don't know how many times I got to show you guys. I don't care. Every time that I come through here, I'm going to stop by the barnyard every chance that I get. Pay my respects, man. Never forget where you came from, man. Or you won't know where the hell you're going, man. They got big bags of peanuts. My dad would be right can. here. Don't have any pictures from the barnyard with him selling uh, his peanuts or his goods or whatever. But just imagine him, Michael, Kim, Jenny, all of them just sitting here. Oh, my God, man. Hours upon hours. Saturday and Sunday, all freaking day. I got to hang out at home, do my own thing chill out with my friends thought i was having the time of my life 
when I could have been out here hanging with my papa. Right here. Selling peanuts, knives, uh, lighters and stuff. I remember he would ask these kids, uh, how old are you? You 18, right, kid? Wink, 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 wink. Uh, you 18, right, kid? The kid ain't but eight years old. Yes, sir. My dad sells him a fucking knife and a Zippo lighter. Get her. You didn't get it from me. <laughs> my dad would do whatever he needed to make a damn dollar, you know what I mean? Much love and respect to that. That's Go one get thing. Get some rice and beans to feed the kids. That's one thing I always told, you know, said about my dad. You know, no matter how big he was, how big he got, you know, he was on disability. You know, he did become disabled, but like he would go out and earn that dollar. You know, even when he was disabled, you know, before disability, he went out daily. He's still he, a hustler. He, you know, um, working on air, air units. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, he was a heat and air man. He was a maintenance man. Um, every, you know, he would not until he could not possibly anymore move. You know what I mean? And then, you know, I don't know. He still continued to hustle and make that dollar, you know. So we love you, Dad. This is us just remembering you, thinking about you on this back, uh, back room. What is this? This is like uh, L? K. 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 Yeah. This is it. Flea market life. It's kind of cold. So anyways, we're almost done with that. Let's go ahead and... Get back to the front of here and get the hell out of here. What you say? Get back to the front. Yeah, I got me some hot sauce. Gonna shout out, give my man a shout out. What's my dude's name? Matt. Damn it, Matt. 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 What? Misstep. Matt. Misstep. <laughs> Boing right here.